Hi everyone, Chris here and welcome to Fair and Forge Knifeworks. Today I'm going to do a little demonstration and show uh, the, the effect that the surface finish of titanium has when you anodize it. So for this one I have a blasted piece, a tumbled piece, we have 220 grit satin finish, and then a, a quick polish. So what we're going to do is we're going to anodize them all at the same time to the same voltage and then we're going to show you the effect that it has. Uh, the lower voltage stuff won't be that exciting but once we get up into the high voltages you'll really start to see a difference across the different finishes. So let's get to it. We're going to start off with a low voltage bronze and then we'll go from there. Here we are at the anode tank. Got my four pieces. We're going to do them bronze to start. dry these up and we'll take a look at them. Here we got our bronze. So let's check it out. Stone or blasted, pretty flat. Stone wash, we got a little more bronze. Satin is beautiful. Got the polish is looking good. Let's bump it up to blue. Got some blue. There. So blasted is looking pretty well blue. You can see the tumble is a little bit lighter. Satin is looking nice. You can see these two are starting to look a little bit, a little more different. Now let's bump it up to green. Here we have the green. Uh, and then this is sort of the first green. And here we can start to see the differences. So our blasted piece, which has the most surface area on it, uh, also seems to be the darkest because as we increase the thickness of our oxide layer because there is more surface area there's just a greater total volume of titanium oxide on this. As we move to the stone washed one you can see it's looking a little bit lighter and I would say a little more green. Right, the satin one greenish and now this is a uh, you know in in real life, it's starting to look almost bronze again. So now we're going to bump this up, uh, and, and this is below 60 volts. Now we're going to get up into what I call the high voltage colors, and we're going to see some fun things start to happen on those. This is what I like to call ultraviolet, and uh, so this is about 75 volts. Zoom in here. So on our, our blasted one, it's purple. You can see on our tumbled one, we have a little more vibrant edges, a little bit brighter purple. We get over into the satin, and that is pink. Uh, it's right on the borderline of pink and purple. And then this looks uh, pink. Um, these colors are going to be harder to, to really show on the camera. Now we're going to bump up to what I call cerulean, which is kind of a blurple, bluish. Let's do it. This one's fun. So these, all four of these pieces were done at 85 volts for the same amount of time, all at the same time. What you can see is that these are blue, almost bordering on green. Our tumbled finish, it's a nice color. And then we get into the satin and the polished and we see that they are blue, purple, blurple. Let's see if I can capture this properly. So this is a very good demonstration of why we never call out colors just in terms of voltage because there's a lot of discrepancy that can happen at the same voltage. So we're gonna bump this up to about uh, 95 now to get into the cyan greenish colors and we'll see what happens. Here we are, this is 93 volts on my anode tank. You can see on our blasted piece, we're starting to get some, some strange discoloration, and it looks more green, blobby green. Here on our tumbled piece, we're also getting some of that strange discoloration, and that uh, my piece is getting very hot. So 
there's a couple things that could be causing that. You can see this is like a, a green aqua type color. The satin is blue. blue. The polished one also basically blue. So we are gonna now put these back in and max out my power supply. We'll take it up to the top and compare them again. And this is as high as my current power supply will go. This is a little over 100 volts. Here you can see our blasted piece looks terrible. Stonewash piece, kind of an interesting darker green, whatever. Satin, looking beautiful bluish green. And our polished one, also sort of a, a bluey green color. So really what I'm trying to show everybody here is that the surface finish that you have on titanium makes a big difference as you anodize through the spectrum. So I said it before, but this is why we never call out colors just based on the voltage. It's because there's a lot of variability and that is the same voltage as that. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys the effect and uh, have a little fun with electricity and chemicals like I always do. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Let us know down in the comments. Uh, a lot of this stuff, I don't know exactly why it happens. I just know that it happens. So <laughs> know that before you start asking too many questions. Hope this was uh, fun for you guys. It was fun for me. And like always, give us a, a thumbs up. If you like this, subscribe would be great. Uh, show your friends, everything like that. And uh, thank you for watching all the way till the end. I appreciate it.